tell me when to start. I'll give you a thumbs up. Just waiting for people to join the lives. Good morning. My name is Tom Morazzo and I've been asked to make a statement on behalf of Freedom Convoy 2022. On Saturday, the Police Services Board for the City of Ottawa met with the City Ch uh, Chief of Police to plan a way forward to end the peaceful demonstration in their city. I would like to review some of the language that was used by members during the meeting. Specifically, Diane Deans, the chair of the Police Services Board. She mischaracterized Ottawa as, and I quote, a city under siege with its democracy threatened during a nationwide insurrection that was driven by madness. These alarmist words were directed at Canadians who were here peacefully protesting and just want their freedoms restored. This is not a time for hysterics by municipal politicians. All the polling that we have seen affirms to us that Canadians want, Canadians want us here. Over 100 downtown residents have come forward with signed legal affidavits. They have described accurately the peaceful nature of this freedom protest. As a volunteer of this movement to restore our freedoms, I have been coordinating with Ottawa Police, the Ontario Provincial Police, the RCMP, the Parliament Hill Protective Services, to help Canadians who have come to Ottawa from coast to coast to ensure this protest is both responsible and safe. At approximately 6.30 p.m. last night, an estimated 100 officers in full tactical gear Snipers mounted on adjoining roofs and UAV drones flying overhead aggressively raided one of our minor supply depots. They proceeded to confiscate, donated and purchased fuel that was destined for our supporters. This action was a direct result of the police services board interfering with police operations. This was not responsible. It was an unnecessary, misguided, aggressive show of force meant to intimidate Canadians exerting their charter rights and freedoms in their nation's capital. The rhetoric that was publicly displayed during the Police Services Board meeting on Saturday was not representative of the great lengths that we have worked to achieve over the last nine days with the Ottawa Police. On Saturday in the city of Winnipeg, an angry citizen reported by the media as members of Antifa drove a vehicle into a crowd of demonstra demonstrators striking down four people. This is tragic foreseeable and quite possibly could have been prevented. We cannot set the conditions for that to happen in Ottawa. We have consistently communicated to all police departments since the beginning that this protest can only be resolved through political dialogue, not police action. What all Canadians want is not within the power of the Chief of Ottawa Police to give. This can only be resolved by lawmakers, not tyrannical enforcement. After 10 days of peaceful protesting, it is time to sit at a table and plan a way forward. We are calling for a delegation from the City of Ottawa to meet with us this Tuesday, February 8th. As a sign of good faith, we are willing to reduce 
the honking of horns down to five minutes per day, commencing at 5 p.m. If the residents of Ottawa are hearing horns at 12.01 p.m. on Tuesday, tomorrow, you will know that their city government has no interest in resolving this. Every time the police conduct an aggressive operation against us, the support for this movement only grows, as was seen in Toronto and other cities across Canada this past weekend. The responsible course of action now is for the City of Ottawa to sit at a table and start a meaningful dialogue and to de-escalate aggressive police action and work with us to resolve this responsibly. Thank you. I believe there's some questions. So the negotiations with the city is only having to do with the police actions, and nothing specific to the, the mandates, because the mandates is a federal issue, right? The mandates are a federal issue, but we believe that it's important that cooler heads prevail. So we have, um, we have we've taken the decision to, the most important step right now is just to get to a table. Let's just start there work with the city uh, and resolve this locally as a, a municipal issue uh, and then continue building on that, that success and then start working towards the, uh, the, the federal mandates. But yes, long term, the goal uh, absolutely is the, the mandates. We are here because of the mandates. We're not here because of the city of Ottawa, but we believe that that's the, uh, the correct place to start. Perfect. One more question. Sure. Can you comment on the Toronto Star uh, recently reported about the crime rates here in Ottawa since you arrived? Can you? Yeah. The, uh, from the report that I had read, thank you for that. But the report I read, uh, crime in this city is down ninety percent since mm -hmm. the protests have been here. So, uh, the number of you know rumors or things that are going on. I know there's a active campaign of bots on social media uh, attacking people's uh, accounts and stuff like that to create. Uh, or frame a picture of, of chaos here, it, it's categorically false. Uh, it's, it was a party here on the weekend. It was a very, very positive, happy experience with bouncy castles. Okay, I don't, I don't think you can reasonably put bouncy castles in a sentence with an insurrection. <laughs> okay, so this has been a very positive experience. Okay, and I, and I want to add the, um, the relationship with the police throughout, on the ground, has been excellent. It's been excellent. Okay, and I don't want to say that they're on our side. They have a job to do. Their mandate is public safety. That's what they have been trying to do at the ground level. Okay, and that's what they're doing very well. We just want to build on that. Where do you guys stand with the negotiations with the government and the federal government with these mandates? And where, do, where are they with in regards to any type of moving forward? Or Well, there's been no outreach by the federal government uh, from the Liberal Party. Okay, But I don't really want to get too deep into to those weeds right now. Um, they are the, the, the government of Canada right now is formed by the Liberal Party. We desperately would like to talk to them to bring about a, a solution here. Um, so at this point, we want to build on the success that we can, if we can get the, at least the city of Ottawa into a room with us, and then we'll go from there. If you had a message for uh, citizens of Ottawa who may have conflicting um, information about what's happening here, yeah. what would you say to people living in Ottawa right now? I would, I would say uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. We know it's hard. We know it's hard for you. It's, it was never about making it hard for the citizens. Um, but their complaints shouldn't be directed to the police. Their complaints should be directed to their elected members of parliament. It is their responsibility to bring about a solution here. Okay, that's who they should direct their anger towards. I don't know where the Liberal Party is. I don't know where they are. Okay, but they need to be accountable to their citizens, to their constituents. Okay, so I would say get on the phone, get on the email, contact your Liberal members of Parliament, 
or your other elective officials that you believe can, can move this along. Okay? But make no mistake, we're here. We're very well supplied because of the support we're getting. Every day, um, we are in contact constantly with people wanting to push supplies to the, the National Capital Region to support us. Okay, we've got more, uh, more fuel and food and supplies than we know what to do with. Okay, and, and, it's, and it's very disheartening to see that uh, um, there's an active harassment campaign ongoing with the, um, the, the Ottawa police. They went on a blitz yesterday, a very, very petty little things, uh, parking tickets, that kind of stuff. That's just meant to put pressure on us. We're not intimidated by that. Um, they did arrest people for aiding and abetting, okay? So for aiding and abetting, that's what they're coming at us with. And, and I believe four of, or two of our members were arrested last night for aiding and abetting because they were caught with cans of fuel, jerry cans of fuel. They're putting people in prison, or sorry, in, in jail and arresting them for carrying cans of, of fuel. That's what it's come to. We want to put an end to that. That's rhetoric, it's a distraction, it's unnecessary, it's unsafe, and ultimately, it's just irresponsible. Let's sit down at a table. Let's sit at a table, work together to resolve this. Who are you, who are you seeing the most help come from? Uh, in, like in terms of the public, everybody across Canada, everybody. I, I have people on my call sheet um, every half hour wanting, where do I donate? Where do I donate? How do I help? How do I get involved? And, and I want to be clear, um, this, is, this is all professions, okay? All professions. It's not just truckers. It's not just farmers. I have retired military reaching out to me. I have retired police reaching out to me. I have uh, doctors. We're in constant contact with doctors, with lawyers. And I'm sure you've seen on social media, there was a really great uh, uh, four... four um, segment post from on Twitter last night from an American lawyer uh, after the lawyer had seen the, um, uh, the the actions of the Ottawa police last night out at Coventry. Okay, so the the support comes from all walks of life all across Canada, and I wish I had a a list of all the countries that have been in, in inspired by this movement. But the the last that I had heard throughout uh, not just. North America, but all throughout Europe, I believe the list was uh, 27 countries, I think it's over, 30. over 30 now. I know uh, Israel was watching last night when the police raided Coventry. Okay, Israel, Australia, um, <coughs> the Netherlands, people all over the world were watching that. Okay, and it's important that people see it for what it really is. Okay, it's, that's very important. We have to show the world what is really going on, and we have to be, we have to communicate. It's clear what we want. Let's sit at a table and, and get that. What is your message to people that are coming down to Ottawa uh, in the next recent couple days or today or whatever? What is your message to them, and what, how can they get out and help? Do you want to take that? Anyone else? Um, well, we're, we're here. We're, we're, um, we'd love to have you. Welcome. That's probably the best thing. We'd Welcome. love to have you. Yep. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the. Support. Are you in need of more trucks? We can always use more trucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can always use more trucks. He loves listen. trucks. Pick up trucks. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Everything. And, and Pick up trucks with empty slip tanks. <laughs> yes, yes, with tanks. But you know what? Um, we are prepared for more convoys to come in. We have several staging areas. We're fully, fully, fully prepared for this. But you know. Um, Ottawa is not the only show in, uh, you know, or the only game in town. Okay, we have other large municipal centers um, that that we can, you know, we can we can spread this message around through yeah. different locations as well. Okay. And anything you'd like to say to the truckers, people parked here for today? Any anything you'd like to say to them? Uh, well, I'm I'm a I'm a. a a volunteer on this this team um, just like everybody else and I'm just uh, I you know for what we're doing here we got their back you know we're working hard 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 to make sure that 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 we win what we want okay so 
we're working for them. That's the important thing. We're working for the truckers and for the people that sent the truckers here. That's who we're working for. And I think we're winning. Yes, we are. Chris, the guys on here are asking you to, to give a message out to Canada. What do you feel and how do you feel this is coming? How's it getting along? I think we're moving mountains here right now. You look at the provincial mandates are being lifted all across the country. We're seeing lots of changes come. Uh, wait for more. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. You, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.